Alright, man, this is looking scary for Joe, and a lot of us fans slash supporters, you know, we feel for Joe, we feel for Joe, because we've been here for quite a while, we've been seeing a couple different casts hit that couch, and we've still been standing here with the JBP. But it's looking scary, I'm not gonna hold you, it's looking scary. Are the jokes that Joe is saying on the show getting a little bit too far? So, for the ones that don't live in the city or don't follow people from the East Coast on Twitter, you might have missed it, but supposedly they saying, I'm gonna say allegedly, because I'm not 100% sure, they saying Joe Budden got packed and folded like a t-shirt on display Saturday at one of these strip clubs slash clubs hookah lounges he be attending in new york City. the first thing that came to my mind when i heard this was oh my god i told you niggas that reggaeton nigga that was related to caesar his brother's the real deal holy feel i kind of heard it in his soft ass voice like nah this is hey joey joey pizza pizza i was like nah this nigga sound like a real deal menace he sound like a real deal menace mixed with nikki jam in the face and joel ortiz from slaughterhouse it looks wild i'm not gonna lie to you it looks wild that's the first person that came to my mind but if you guys watch Poetic Flacco, you know we show love to Flacco as much as we can in this channel. We watch his stuff from time to time as well. And Flacco made a video talking about Joe. We had to go straight to that. We had to go straight to that. And when he made that video, he said something that I was like, I totally, totally, totally forgot that. So Flacco pointed something out that I did not know. Remember that? Remember when Joe was just beefing with uh, Taxstone? Taxstone, you might be like, yo, Taxstone's still beefing. Didn't he just get convicted for the Troy app? Yeah, no, this nigga still got time. He's not making himself look good. He's like, don't worry, baby. I'm coming home and appeal. And then bugging out on Twitter. Like, you got Suge Knight, got a podcast. This nigga taxes on Twitter. Like, there's just a lot going on. You got to chill, brother. If you want a shot at anything, you got to relax. You got to relax. Because you want us to believe you're not a menace. But allegedly, this shit getting tied back to you. Like, nah, this is crazy. This is wild stuff. This is you. They only make this shit up in hip hop. Because I never hear about this at the Country Grammar Awards. I never hear this shit at the Country. I said the Country Grammar. Damn. I'm so hip hop to the bone. Me. Isn't that Nelly's album from when I was a kid? That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Country Music Awards. <laughs> Country Grandma. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And with that being said, man, let's get into this. But what I'm saying is Flacco tied that situation back to when Joe Budden was beefing with Tax Stone. And, you know, he said something about him on the on the podcast a couple times. He said something in the million dollars worth of game, saying that he did not get no game from Tax Stone. He was, he was more focused on Combat Jack. And Tax Stone worked. I believe he was saying allegedly he worked for Combat Jack, if I understood that correctly. So how can I get game from the employee? We was both in the same level. I was looking at the boss, trying to get to that level. Tax didn't like that. They went back and forward on Twitter. Then they even brought it to the podcast, and they Joe had some words for him on the podcast. Because Tax was like, yo, back, back in the day, people like my podcast more than yours. And Joe's like, that's great. If your memories is a Twitter pool from, I don't remember the year, but a while ago. Makes you happy. Salute to you. Hey, but he it got a little further when Joe Budden said the SMD. Y'all know, if you're from New York, don't even play with me. Don't even play with me with those words, bro. Please, please. It brings the Jacqueline Hyde out of me. It brings the grim if I ate after 12 vibes out of me, just relax. We came here to have fun. We can even joke around. But when you start bringing out those crazy words, you're like, nah, now somebody got to die. Why we had to bring it here? Why we had to bring it here? We was just having a good time. Why we had to bring it here? But it hit Tax Stone with the SMD. And then supposedly, I didn't even notice Flacco. Flacco, this is all Flacco sources. Flacco talks about it. If you guys haven't seen this clip, it's probably not going to make sense, but you'll see it. During this clip, Joe says, yo, they're 0-2. When I first saw that, I was like, all right, the pizza pizza nigga ran up. And now he probably got packed out. It didn't go at like, like Twitter is saying and Joe Budden saying that he won the fight. But nah, Poetic saying that last month they ran up on Joe and Joe just never covered it. But Tax don't sent uh, Tax's dude got the drop on Joe in the club that he was in and they pulled up on him and that's when all this happened. Whoever hasn't, for the ones that haven't seen this video with Queens Flip, I'm gonna play it now and then we'll discuss it a little further. But yo, we gotta protect Joe, bro. What am I gonna do during work? Like, what am I gonna do during work? I'm at lunch break right now. Guess what's paused after I finished recording during my lunch break? Joe Budden, I'm gonna go back to work, listen to the JBP. Like, come on, son, we gotta protect Joe at all costs. I'm I'm where I'm at because of Joe Budden. I can't even lie to you. Since like 2015, I've been listening to Joe heavy, heavy, heavy as like a time passer, and it be entertaining me every day at work. It's just a little. You know, some of you niggas got work wives and shit. The kind of career I got into, it was never bad, Joe. So what I look forward to is listening to Joe Budden while work. Hey, you look, why you look good though? Like, I, I thought you got jumped and stomped out. You good? You got I we all got one friend like that. We all got one friend that's a little too happy that shit had bad happened to you. Like I heard you got stomped out. And when it's Queens flip, we don't even get mad. But we all know one nigga like that. <laughs> Never believe the internet rumors. Come on, bro. Never believe. <laughs> they did the hill. They did the hill. No. 
No, nah, nigga, cop, nigga, cop back and sock me one good time. Bow, but then that's all you gonna get. I, I keep telling you, I eat a punch. Right there, Joe confirms that they did hit him and he was touched during that event that we heard about Saturday. I'm not saying that the way that the internet said it happened was true, but Joe confirmed right here that he did get hit in the club. But now we gotta get it off. Now we gotta go. Pause. And I don't like this internet stuff. Don't believe, don't believe, don't believe that. Don't believe that. That's you it. Was it a power stop? Was homie strong? Was it, was it, was it, was it like, oh, he puts a power behind? Wet floor saved his life. Wet floor saved his life. I about the wet floor. I, I... Yo, every time, every time New York niggas talk about wet floor, I get anxiety because I remember ASAP Rock and talking about his last jail fight with a wet floor. Hey. Got that nigga up out of there. Thank God. Yeah, I had to yeah. fight some nigga in the bathroom. No homo. We he slipping on semen. <laughs> we niggas was jerking off in the uh, bathroom, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Me, we I got that nigga up out of there. All that shit. You know, this is parts of the story that I'm. Hey, yo. But yeah, right here, Joe Budden confirms that they was grappling and tasseling, and you guys know the club floors could get a little sticky or they could get a little slippery. It's never just regular. That's why I be kind of tight on what sneakers I wear. If you go to a hood club, nine out of ten times, I don't know why, but the floor is always wet, sticky, or slippery. Like it's always one of the two. Can't just have a vibe where I come in my sneakers leave the way that they entered. You just I don't know what it is. You gotta get a section you gotta get a section you can't stand on the normie floor with some fly ass kicks it just don't work out well trust me. but right here joe did confirm the queen's flip more than once that shit went down wet floor saved the man he didn't hit him well he hit him but it wasn't a hard hit he didn't put no strength to his and flips there i heard you got packed out stomped out river drop nigga hit you with the people's elbow like damn that's your man's that's your man's flip, flip. Remember, that's your man's flip, flip. Chill, chill. This nigga's there like, ha, ha. Heard they beat the hell out of you. I'm like, damn, flip. Damn, son. <laughs> Let me know down below though. Any more information you guys got? Then everything we said today was alleged about the whole, about the information that we learned about tax, about tax stone. All that came from me watching that poetic Flacco video because I didn't even have that in my mind. Yeah, I remember him beefing with him. I think we reacted to it on his channel. I watched every episode, but I just didn't tie two and two together. Like shout out to Flacco if that's actually who it is because he said he got to send somebody stronger next time. This video is a little bit longer. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. It was like a ten minute video. I saw it on YouTube. Go check it out. I'm sure you can find it. Just put Joe Budden fight or put Joe Budden and Queen Flip live and it's gonna pop right let me know down below though any information i might have missed that you got this is fresh hot news joe said he's going to discuss it in this video right before he hangs up he's like we're going to discuss this on the podcast and flips it you guys better sign up for, for patreon i like, gotta watch this i be watching so much content and shit that i don't even have their patreon because i watch their youtube plus watching adam no jumper mixing a million dollars worth of games just so much shit that i'm already watching that's why i never got onto the patreon talked about drake a little bit more on the patreon i have my mans calling me every 10 minutes telling me different updates and shit so this is one that I'm, i don't want to miss i don't want to miss i gotta go is he going pull a Tupac when Tupac name dropped Haitian Jack and niggas was like nah he's snitching he's snitching or 50 Cent when he name dropped Preem and his other mans I forgot in the in the Ghetto Quran track is it one of those situations let me know down below Joe don't ever really portray himself like a like a gangsta ass nigga though you know I mean Joe portrays himself as a get money business nigga Queen Flip even yells and it's like yo why are we still hearing about Joe Budden fighting like it's 07 and now nah, you too old for this now bro you too old for this and that had me rolling that had me rolling but comment down below let me know any information I might have missed subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers sub up sub up sub up and yo can we protect my man's joe all jokes aside we got to protect joe now like nah it's crazy it's crazy joe talks about this on as well on this video that people are calling him he's like relax relax everybody chill yo just know joe me and all 4,800 and something of us we got your back we got your back we come as a mob we come as a gang and it's wild because i love tax season i used to watch that that's another podcast that i loved oh man i found it hilarious and tax went crazy on joe back in the day on his podcast. Huh? I'm asking you a question. What I'm the f is wrong with you? I'm almost be with this. Like, what do you I mean fun with about? I like, watch you for, like, a day. Why? I just asked you a question and you f***ing talking. What are you talking about, my nigga? You're pretty interesting. Yo, what's wrong with this dude, son? Yo, is he messing with me right now? Is he serious? Like, that was a legendary interview to me. Even though it was a terrible interview and the sh episode was super short, it was just, I remember how it hit me at that time. I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. So much respect to Tax. I hope it got nothing to do with them. And if so, let's just hope this gets squashed behind the scenes and we can just go back to making content. Subscribe to the channel. It's not that you got